I won't be seen in this ridiculous state. Yeah. Take off your costume. Like anyone would notice. Enjoying yourself? Very much so. All right, that wasn't helpful. Miss Morrison? Yes? How many Bigfoots are here, anyway? All of them. Helpful. About Conroy Bumpus. Do not speak that name in Evelyn Morrison's presence. He is but a mere candle when compared to her supernovic brilliance. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. That was just mean. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungling has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. In one drink? All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. I'll get back to you later. In the Evelyn Morrison cut. will always be there for her admirers. Oh, I am glad that you have enjoyed it, and thank you for stopping by, Andy Wolf. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't be silly. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah, these games are full of little jokes and stuff like that, which is awesome. Um... I know... Yeah, I go for it, John. Mostly because I'm running out of time, and I'd like to... to not go too much over time today, because we started early. No, I don't think the golf balls are gonna work. I'm... My brain is telling me that I need to get something done at the vegetable stand. A Bino Yeti and the band. Okay, so there is another door there that I just didn't see. Stop. Oh, that's Only right. Sasquatches and their yeah, I know. I gotta put the, the costume on. I'm working on it. I forgot. Grab. Max. I guess we could try it on. There was reverse lowbrow. Oh, really? I didn't get mm. that, Fletcher. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys <laughs> in with that one. Why well, was that kid, Korai? I was totally that kid playing with the door. Yep, there is another door back there. I just didn't see it. I know I need this. I can't pick that up. Well, 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 a Bigfoot. Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Oh, uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing That's of it, old chap. 24 hours, so. Oh. And pop off to the bus and get the net. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Gotcha, Fletcher, gotcha. Don't um, make a move. I need to take off the costume if I remember correctly. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Because I know I have to shove them in the freezer. Yeah, I know. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, Pack. <laughs> There's something you should know, Bumpus. There we go. You again? I left the net back in Bumpusville. Yep. Oh, get the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their oh, ways, and yes. take them off at our leisure. Oh. And yes, it is. It is Fletcher. 
Yeah, and no I need to punt. Stuff, dog boy. Yeah. No need to punt. Hey. I wouldn't move if I were you. Yeah. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? <laughs> that was fun. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Atonal. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. There we go. Yep, this way. Can I have your attention, please? And success. We are on the last section of the game now. Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. <laughs> and so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? Oh, we don't Max. want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. Oh, wait for a hair of Valkyrie. You that cube actually has about use later. The convention floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow me. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. Yes, like We believe fruitcake. they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation. But the mm -hmm. secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's <laughs> real heavy. Bruno. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Oh, Who man. can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. Uh, I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would <laughs> loosen up everyone's imagination. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean, B, most of us have been partying too much <laughs> to figure out what they mean, and C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. I we do. wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, I know we have three of them. There's ever been a metaphor? Yeah, exactly, Fletcher. Exactly. Now, I know most of these. This is the pillow. I believe we have to get a vegetable from the vegetable stand. I think this one's the tar pit, and this one's the vortex. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. No. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I am staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. Yes, it and does. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. You're getting soft, Sam. Yep. We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um... Just to confirm... How do you make of that totem pole on the far left? Let me take a look. Just to confirm, because I'm pretty sure this hmm. one's the vortex. Well... It's a totem pole. And? Helpful. It's made of wood. Helpful. It's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. He's not going to be very helpful. So let's go Be ahead and end you. this conversation. Not if I see you first. 
we're going to go to a couple of places to see if I remember the things we're supposed to do. The first place we're going to go, believe it or not, is uh, the Ball of Twine. Because you'll notice here, or is it? We have a bottle of wine. Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. Yes, exactly. We need a cork for the globe. But how are we going to get that cork out? can't use these things together. We need a corkscrew, right? And yes, it is some sort of old Yeti, uh... It is an old Yeti prophecy. It's a nice pick. So, who knows what to do what when you don't... Who knows what to do when you have an ice pick, but not a corkscrew? Yeah, we could try that first. We could try that I first. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Let me out of here, please. But yeah, we could go to Schnucks. Or I got it. <laughs> you give it to the psychic guy and he turns it into a corkscrew. We're gonna go up to the psychic guy. We'll get our corkscrew. We'll unlock our cork, then we'll go out to the vortex, get our vortex in a bottle. And then I believe we gotta go back to the tar pit and we need to get a T-Rex too. Yeah, exactly, Karai, exactly. Shake a leg, Max. But yeah, this part stymied me so bad when I was a kid. It took me so long to figure out that you're supposed to do that. And then my brother gave me the hint of, Remember what you had to do to the sword in Loom? And it clicked. Which that's another game we'll play is we'll play Loom one day. That's going to be a short stream, though. Loom is not a long game. We would have been done with this one a while ago if I wasn't so chatty. <laughs> Could you bend this? Sure. Just let me finish this one. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. How's that? Great. Now we have a corkscrew. It's a nice pick that's been horribly twisted. Going? That Going. seems to have gotten the cork off. Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? With this poison? Don't be silly. Done. This fits perfectly. That seems to have capped the snow globe. In our snow globe. So let's go ahead and go out to the vortex. Catch the vortex. This is about with a cyber... Yeah? Yeah? It kind of is. It kind of is, Fletcher. But now we will play Loom someday, too. What we might do is we actually might do Loom and uh, the Dig on the same day. Yeah, we would have had we not been talking, no. <laughs> We've been talking a lot today. But we're on the end sequence, so we'll, we'll wrap it up by the end of stream. And if I have to go a little longer, I will. But we are going to roll credits on this today. No, not lead me to the car, please. Car. Thank you. And thank you for that victory. There we go. Are. Oh yeah, and you do get stuck in games like this. Long play alone doesn't take long to beat the game. No, it does not take long. And thank you for those hundred kibble bitties there, Riv. That is very sweet of you. No, there is no cyber demon in Loom. <laughs> I am just playing along. There are like evil swans though. There are definitely evil swans in, uh, in Loom. Alright, here. And that's true, we did get the end. That was a joke ending, but we did get the Can end. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. Isn't that redundant? Oh, that is kind of redundant. 
Swans are such beautiful animals. You're right, they are not nice. Vortex! They are like geese a lot meaner, and they're also more uh, aggressive than geese are. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. Okay. That's two of the four items we need. Because we've got the hair tonic pillow, we've got the vortex. Let's go grab our eggplant. And then I think we have to go pull a tooth from that mechanical dinosaur. I could be wrong about that, though. I don't think I am. This was not where I wanted to go. Try that again. Oh, nope. You're right, Parai. I was going to the right location. My brain knew what it was doing, but my conscious thought was not. that portrait. Yoink. Yoink, 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 yoink. And back to the veggies. <laughs> Grab this. Come on. Guess I have to talk to her first. Come on, scoot over. So, how did you get started in this line of work? Oh, I'm a natural. My mother's an artist, my father's a farmer, and my great-grandfather was a village, village idiot. idiot. It's in my blood. I That's see. Fair. Okay, so why don't you let well, me do it with bye. John Burr? You should be allowing me to do this. What do you make of this? There we go. Yeah, exactly, my 12-year-old car. naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. Alright, so pretty much we just gotta leave and then come back. So let's go take care of the dinosaur thing. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had good curry. But hopefully... Also, attention to detail here. You notice that the mammoth is now shaved since that one scene? Good, good attention to detail there, game. And I don't remember if I get the tooth from here. Pretty sure I do. I can't use these things together. Maybe not. Is this finally where I get to use the rope? That's a good idea, but there's nothing for the twine to catch on. Maybe later. Oh, come on. It's 91 yards. I can't use these things together. Nothing for the twine to catch on. Oh, I know. Hi, my name is... Maybe if the jaw was it. angled better. Say, ah! Hi. That was informative. There we go. Yep, yep, exactly, Karai. And I had to time it to shut it off in time. I can't take it anywhere. I can't take it anywhere. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Um... I... Ooh. There we go. 
Remember the maybe later comment? <laughs> Old school tooth pulling. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? And nothing but the tooth. Nothing but. Oh, they had to make that joke, didn't they? And eat us the bonus. <laughs> Veggies. And that should be it. That should be it. That should be all four things we need. And bear oh, it was totally a bear dad joke. Where's my John Muir vegetable? Thank you! Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, ma'am. I would point Thanks. out that zucchini Bye. squash usually aren't purple, but, uh, whatever. Oh, exactly, exactly, Riv. They they had to make that joke. So the solution to this mystery is vortex power, a zucchini in the shape of John Muir, a metal dino tooth, and I already forgot the last thing. Uh, that would be... We've got the veggie, we've got the vortex, we've got the dino tooth, and the hair tonic. What else I wanted to comment to Canis? That's that's awesome that they made something in the Doom Engine. Although I've heard the Doom Engine is ridiculously useful for doing stuff like that. But yeah, we are gonna be rolling credits momentarily on this. And then we can go uh, play some Power Wash Sim and try and get that stupid 1% that I can't find. Actually, I am gonna go back here really quick and see if they've frozen yet. Time to summon the Eldritch Whore! Close. Not exactly an Eldritch Whore oh, we really? summon. I can't pick that up. Oh, I love this part. Let's put them back before they melt, Max. Good idea. I think they make an excellent still light. Oh. Uh, that, that will become important later. I believe it. Nothing I would back believe there. it. Just like Unreal Engine, I've seen an awesome amount of stuff made. Can't wait to see how this ends. Oh, it, it's funny, Karai. And it's not what you expect, either. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, we might have to go through all the dialogue options with him before it'll let us get the Elder in here. But, uh... I don't know. Hopefully Lord. not. About that leftmost totem pole. Let me take a look. Never mind. We'll figure it out ourselves. <laughs> Any keen Bigfoot insights into the totem pole with a tooth on it? I've been staring at that one for hours, and... Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. Helpful. I'm not holding my breath, but do you have any clue who the guy in the third totem pole is? It's John Murr. Nope. He sure seems to get along with vegetables, though. Sam, the guy in that pole's got a marshmallow. So? I want a marshmallow. I want a marshmallow, Max, too. Max, you are a marshmallow. Fair. See that totem pole? What about it? What do you think it means? Hmm. I've got it. What did you tell them? I told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads. Uh, so what do you think about all this? I'm just happy yes, to be here, Yes, a carnivorous Sam. marshmallow. Happy to be at room temperature and happy to be free at last. <laughs> Born free, as free as the wind blows. Max. What? What were you saying, Bruno? <laughs> I lost my thought. Oh, I love it. Darn. How do you and Trixie meet anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she Aww. snuck into the freak tent. Yeah, it's and actually sang Fletcher. Me to sleep with a Scranton's lullaby. <laughs> and you want to put him back in a block of ice? Yeah. So I give up. 
You are heartless, Max. Well, now that Conroy's right, out of here. Last one in the night, I think do? I remember what we have to do. Try brushing it, maybe? Well, I've still got the Cushmans to worry about, so I guess I'm still a little tense. All right. Be seeing you. Not if I see you first. I believe we just gotta start throwing stuff into the pool. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Okay, so where is the stupid elder? He said he's in the hot tub, but where is he? Apparently it's a city in Pennsylvania. That doesn't surprise me. I can't pick that up. He's not my type. Right, am I seriously? I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Should be behind the pillars. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. you're right, he should be right behind the pillars. It's a gourd that looks just like John Muir, the naturalist. It's a somewhat authentic dinosaur tooth. It's a pillow with hair tonic all over it. Come on, keep walking that way. Got it. I just wasn't on the right scene. All right, let's wrap this. Let us wrap up this game. A second? Not really. But since you're saving my species from extinction, what the heck? But yeah, I played the daylights out of these when I was a kid, and it's it's always fun to revisit them as an adult. Because you get the nostalgia, but you also appreciate all the jokes that you never got before. What do you make of the first totem pole? As you know, this is a problem that I've been working on for many years. Research strongly suggests this totem pole to be representative of the whirlwind nature of us Bigfoots. Wild and always moving. What's your take on the second totem pole? We're going to do his dialogue and then we'll start uh, wrapping things up. You see, I believe that it represents the sharp edge of ancient history. The fantastic staying power of the Yeti people over the millennia. Look like our games. Oh man, I remember those. How does the third pole figure into the scheme of things? Let me be very clear. That pole constitutes the harmony from the coexistence of two similar beings. A harmony that springs from mutual respect and understanding. What does the fourth totem pole represent? I'm asked that very question all the time. My answer, rapid growth. All right, let I'll us wrap this. I'll be here. Now we just get to, get to give him random objects. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. <laughs> In the hot tub, of course. One down. Handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. it. Was also all the pajama Sam games. I remember those too. Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? Shh. Doesn't need to know. John Murr. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Oh, 
love that he does a dance every time, too. Combination of man and nature. Invented. Is it soup yet? America, yes. He is dancing like Crash Bandicoot, isn't he? Alright, last one. Hair tonic. Hey, Mr. Chief. We found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah, w that what is, is it? That is the jacuzzi of destiny. Hair growth tonic. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... What? Of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea. And it doesn't, doesn't require high explosives. High. Wait here. Oh, wait for it. Gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. The greater good. You guessed it, chat. Conroy Bumpkiss is going to be our sacrifice. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. The greater good. Point of tragedy. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm loving this. Suddenly trees! Trees everywhere! Yes, you're a tree, you're a tree. Everybody's a tree. And correct, yes. I love that the map just gets covered in trees, too. Well, that was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. I love we it. We be in a place where we can sort of blend in, live our lives, maybe even raise a family. Ew. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man-beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in you the and Western me both United cry. States? You, and me both. you bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Oh, I love this part, too. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. <laughs> Eats it. Mmm, foil covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Oh, I well, love it. I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. No. Ew. I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. I love it. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he yeah, smells like a bag full of damp hamster eat. shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Yes, you did. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Wait oh, for lighten it. up, Burl. Hey, they're back. 
Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! <laughs> How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee ball tickets? Close enough. And that's true, Zero Sniper. Let's go, Max. Real chocolate doesn't expire. You know, Max, money. I can't help thinking that we foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Only a little. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it. Yep. You crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? Oh, now, chat, you think the game is over, right? You think the game is over. It isn't. Because guess what you can do during the credits? <laughs> also, R2-D2 much? Yep. The credits are a flipping shooting gallery. Also, I just killed it, but, uh... We had a Day of the Tentacle tentacle in there. Oh, Lordy. I think that's a reference to Maniac Mansion there, too, by the way. I believe this, the zombies are Maniac Mansion references. And yeah, somehow they magically have their guns back. Uh, I'm not sure the furry thing is Bubsy. I'm not sure. I mean, this game is old enough that it could be. But I'm not 100% sure. Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, you're right. It is. It is Guybrush Threepwood. You're right. You're right. Nope. You're right. Because there's the ponytail. It is totally Guybrush Threepwood. And there's a tentacle from Day of the Tentacle. Is, uh, that is Sam and Max Hit the Road. One of my absolute favorites. Also, I love this. Lunchtime Catering by Hal Barwood. Drinks with the Priestess by Brian Moriarty. Oh, the third man. <laughs> but yeah, but welcome to my nostalgia and childhood. I have a lot of these. I have a lot of these to play through, including the entire Monkey Island series. So we'll probably dive into that at some point. Uh, I don't believe there's an Easter egg. And yes, it is Purple Tentacle. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything at the end of the credits. I honestly don't remember. But considering I'm not going anywhere, or we're not going to be carrying the Earth Tones, I love it. Max Petal on Vibes, Norm Fockle on Trumpet, Pierre LaFoot, Eddie... Harry Yeti on Bass Fiddle. Oh, a high school guidance counselor's in the very big toy store down the street, and George Lucas. Throwback Thursdays. I... You can stop now. <laughs> nope. No, really. I knew there was something at the end of this. Rewind Wednesdays. It's over. Nope, we're gonna continue shooting. We're leaving. And they force you out of the credits eventually. Okay, so we lied. <laughs> But yeah, I believe you can sit here and just keep shooting stuff as long as you want to. But yeah, that, that my friends, is Sam and Max Hit the Road.